Good evening, uh, Nandana. Good evening, Good evening, Swati. Good evening. Yes, children, how do we factorize this? So there are three terms. What is the difference? Uh, Ma'am, 14, 21, and 21, they are highest uh, common factor 7. Then. So we can take 7 as the common. Okay, 7. And also x, Ma'am. 7 x x what 2 2 x, x, to x the power 2 yeah x, x to the power 2 and what about y and y power y, y power 1 9 no but y is not common everywhere no in the first mm -hmm. term 14 x cube and we can uh, y power 0 ah in the term 14 x cube there is no y that means it's 14 y to the power 0, no? Yeah. Yeah, then which is the least power? y to the power 0. That means 1. Yeah. Yeah, so that means y is not common. y to the power 0 means 1, right? We don't have y in all the terms. Highest common factor. Highest common factor, common factor. But 14x cubed does not have y at all. So you cannot take out y common. 14x cubed has y to the power 0. That's the least power. And y to the power 0 is 1. Which means y is not common. Then what will you get inside the bracket? And 2x. 2x plus 3 cube, uh, no, man, 3 square, 3 square. 3x square? Minus. Y, 3x square, Y. Minus. Square, minus 4 y square. y square, very good. Yes. Yeah, good evening, Nandana. We just started. Oh, good, good evening, Bhavishya. Bhavishya, sorry. We just started, Bhavishya. Now this is one term, this is one term and this is the other term separated by a minus sign. So what is common between the first and the second terms? There is x plus y. X, x no, x plus y is x plus y is one expression. 2x mm. plus y another expression. These two make the first term. Because minus is the separator. See the bracket I've used. What is common between this and this? Um, x plus y. X plus y. Because you have x plus y here. You have x plus y here also. X plus y is common. X plus y is common. Now open a square bracket. X plus y into what will give you the first term? That is the terms in the first bracket. See bracket, I mean this bracket, this, this bracket. X plus phi into what will give you this one? Um, X. No, ma'am, it changed it to X square. 
see what is there it's x plus y into 2x plus 5 or we have taken out x plus y common so what should you write inside x plus y into 2x plus 5 right yes so you should write 2x plus 5 here yes or no x plus y into 2x plus 5 x plus y into 2x plus 5 then this minus minus what do we have here what do we and have x here plus, x, x plus x plus three. y x plus y into x plus 3 but x plus y is common so and you x must write three. x plus 3 yes or no yes no yeah now x plus y will come as it is 2x plus 5 open the uh, bracket apply the minus sign to all the terms in the bracket minus x minus 3 then you can simplify in the bracket you can simplify 2x minus x is x plus 5 minus 3 is plus 2 this is the final answer this is the final answer please work these two terms Yes, and I yes, can't yes. understand how 2x plus 5 came as it is. Okay, okay. But why don't you make a note? I'll work it again because I don't want to explain with the same thing. I, I, I'll work it again and explain. Please write down this in your notebook. I'll clear the slide and work it again. Please yes, write down. Yeah, please write down. What are we doing? We are factorizing children. We are factorizing. That is, we are finding the factors of the given expression. Like if the question is factorize, uh, you know, say 45, factorize 45. What is, uh, we express 45 as a product of its prime factors. So 45 is equal to 3 into 3 into 5. 3 3s are 9, 9 5s are 45. So when we when the question is factorize 45, you express 45 as a product of its prime factors. Similarly, here when the heading is factorize, we have an expression. What what should you do if the heading is factorize the expression? What are you supposed to do? You are supposed to find the factors of the given expression. Factors of the given expression, and see the answer is x plus y and x plus 2 are the factors of the given expression x plus y and x plus 2 see like here for, for 45 3 is a factor and 5 is a factor 3 and 5 are the prime factors of 45 3 and 5 are the prime factors of 45 in the same way here x plus y is one factor of this expression x plus 2 is another factor of this expression Yeah, please work, children. Done, mom. Okay. Done, mom. All right. All right. Can I clear the slide? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Let me write the question again. So it is x plus y into 2x plus 5 minus x plus y <coughs> into x plus 3. So this is an expression. We have to factorize this expression. Now the minus is a separator. Minus is a separator. So this one, this product is one expression. This product is another expression separated by a minus sign. Now what is common between this and this? You can see x plus y here. You can see x plus y here also. So x plus y is common. X plus y is common. Bring it out. Now, since there are all, you know, here we already have simple brackets. I'm opening a square bracket. Now, this is what is the first expression, this one. This is the first expression. We need to get this. Okay, what is the first expression? It is x plus y into 2x plus 5. This is the first expression. Now, this one is common. x plus y is common. 
So x plus y into what will give you this one? X plus y into 2x plus 5. Now multiply this x plus y into 2x plus 5. Is the first expression yes or no? Yes, ma'am. X plus y into 2x plus 5. That's what is here. X plus y into 2x plus 5. Then write this connecting sign as it is minus. Now this x plus y is out common here. We have we need to get this product x plus y into x plus 3. We need to get this product. This one is already outside common. So we need to write this inside the bracket x plus 3. See here x plus y into x plus 3. X plus y into x plus 3. Is the second expression is the second expression here. Close the bracket. Now you can simplify. You can simplify. See, write x plus y as it is. Now uh, take away the square bracket. Use a simple bracket. 2x plus 5 comes as it is. All right. Now apply this minus sign to every term inside the bracket. So minus into plus x, minus x, minus into plus minus 3. Close a simple bracket. Now x plus y. Now in the second bracket, we have some like terms. You can simplify them further. 2x minus x is x and plus 5 minus 3 is plus 2. So you can see the final answer. It's a product of factors x plus y x plus y into x plus 2. Just a minute children. Yes, uh, thank you children. Uh, is it uh, clear children? Please ask me if you still don't understand. I have to explain. Any doubt it's anywhere? Clear, ma no, ma'am. No doubt. All right, children. Fine. Next question. <clears throat> This is the next question. Now in this one children. <clears throat> again, see this is the first expression. This is the second expression and they're separated by a minus sign. They're separated by a minus sign. When you observe it, the entire expression carefully, you can see in the bracket in the first expression we have 2x minus 3 by the whole square. And the second expression, the second part. We have 3 by minus x. The first part has 2x minus 3y. The second part has 3y minus 2x. Like it is a, in one we have a minus b. In the other we have b minus a. See so here 2x here also we have 2x. 3y 3y. But in the first uh, part it is 2x first and then 3y. 2x minus 3y. In the second part it is 3y first and then 2x. 3y minus 2x. And we all know that a minus B and B minus A are not the same because when you take this example 10 minus uh, 6, the answer is 4. 10 minus 6 is 4, but 6 minus 10 is minus 4. 10 minus 6 is not the same as 6 minus 10. 10 minus 6 is just 4, a positive 4, but 6 minus 10 is minus 4, negative 4. So which means A minus B is not equal to B minus A. It's not always equal to B minus A. See, you might say 5 minus 5 is 0, and even if I exchange it again, 5 minus 5 is 0. Okay, the, it's not always true. 
a minus b is not always equal to b minus a is what we are trying to say <clears throat> so a minus b is not equal to b minus a then how do you you know like how do you handle this uh, situation it's very close no you have a minus b there it is b minus a if both were a minus b we could have taken out a minus b common if both were a minus b you can take out a minus b common now it's like you're just missing it you know uh, you one is a minus b the other is b minus a so you're like should if it was a minus b i could have taken out a minus b common so what you can do here is what you can do here is understand this very carefully children <clears throat> now a minus b if i write this one as minus of b minus a see here see it what is minus of b minus a multiply minus b minus into minus a plus a is this correct children yes, this is correct yes ma'am that is what i'm trying to say is see i i'm trying to say that a minus b is the same as minus of b minus a that is you write a minus b as b minus a but take a minus sign outside you write a minus b as b minus a but take a minus sign outside because now see here a minus b one side it is a minus b the other side minus into b is minus b minus into minus plus a plus a what do you have here plus a minus b here also plus a minus b they are the same see here plus a plus a minus b minus b both are the same it's like a minus b here and here also plus a you can write that first and then you can write this minus b yeah both are the same a minus b is not equal to b minus a but a minus b is equal to minus of b minus a if you want to write a minus b as b minus a take a minus outside a minus b is equal to minus of b minus a a minus b very important okay a minus b is equal to minus of b minus a because if you multiply minus into b minus b minus into minus plus a plus a okay so what we are going to do is we are going to apply this rule here see we are going to write the first part as it is the first part as it is the first part as it is now in the second part what we are going to do is 3y minus 2x we are going to write that as 2x minus 3y like a minus b as b minus a 3y minus 2x we are writing it as 2x minus 3y for that you should take a minus outside you must take a minus outside but there's a minus already here so it will become plus so in very simple words when you write 3y minus 2x as 2x minus 3y change the connecting sign if it's minus make it plus why because when you write it as 2x minus 3y you have to take out a minus sign you'll have to take out a minus sign but there's a what is the sign here minus so that minus into minus will become plus and you can put that 16 here this 2x minus 3y has a minus sign before it multiply that minus sign with this so it will become plus so change so in simple words change the connecting sign if it is plus make it minus if it's minus make it plus Oh, sorry. I'll just write it again. I'll just write it again. <clears throat> so write the first part as it is. Write the first part as it is. In the second part, what we do is we write the sixteen as it is. We write three y minus two x as two x minus three y. But we can't do that. A minus B, B minus A, both are not the same. Ten minus six, six minus ten. No, they are not the same. But if you write it like this, you take a minus outside. But what is the connecting sign here? Minus. What is minus into minus plus? Put that sign. Put that sign. Now twelve and six. This is the first part, and this is the second part. Twelve, sixteen. What is the head safe of twelve and sixteen? <clears throat> what is the head safe of twelve and sixteen? Four. And here we have. 2x minus 3y, the whole square. Here we have 2x minus 3y, which is the least power. 2x minus 3y, the whole square. Yeah. Here the power is 2. Here the power is 1. The least power. 2x minus 3y. And 2x minus 3y. So 2x minus 3y. 2x minus 3y. You know the power is 1. 
here the part, see the base is the same 2x minus 3y 2x minus 3y the base is the same the power 2 1 and for hcf the least power is common so 2x minus 3y is common 2x minus 3y is common oh my god oh my goodness i cleared everything or i changed the slide out <clears throat> just a second um, yeah. shall I tell the answer of it? yes nandana please um, uh, open bracket three open a square bracket because we can see simple brackets no? so open a square bracket then three. four into what is 12 three, three. very good and then outside three. we have 2x, 2x minus uh? 2x ma'am because it is square ma'am so uh. if you take one uh, term from them we get 2x minus 3 Five. another Very one good. is left so correct 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 plus then four ma'am uh, that, that's all close five. very good correct correct very good yeah so now four into three will give us this 12 and 2x minus 3 by into 2x minus 3 by is 2x minus 3 by the whole square 4 into 3 is 12 2x minus 3y into 2x minus 3y is 2x minus 3y the whole square. A into A is A square. Then for the second part, the connecting sign is plus, put that as it is. For the second part, this 2x minus 3y is outside common. So don't have to write it. But we have 16 here. We have 4 outside. So 4 into 4 is 16. So write only 4. So now when you multiply this one, when you multiply this with this, 4 into 4, 16 into 2x minus 3y. Now, this is not over. We need to still continue. Yeah. All right. After, after this, uh, 4 into 2x minus 3y as it is. Square bracket becomes simple bracket. Now multiply. 3 into 2x, 6x. 3 into minus 3y minus 9y plus 4 plus 4. You can't multiply 3 with uh, 4 because 3 is to be multiplied only with 2x and minus 3y. So 2 into 3x, 6, sorry, 3 into 2x, 6x. 3 into minus 3y minus 9y plus 2. Now see the answer. What's the answer? 4 into 2x minus 3y into 6x minus 9y plus 4. See the product. The answer is a product of the factors of the expression given. See the final answer. There is no plus minus sign in the middle. Every term is connected by a multiplication sign. 4 into 2x minus 3y into 6x minus 9y plus 4. So this is one factor. This is, the, this is another factor. This is another factor. This full thing. This full thing is another factor. Yeah, please write down children. Um, can we also simplify 4 into 2x minus 3y? Uh, one minute. Yeah, which one? Ma? This one? Uh? Um, yes, ma'am. Uh, like no. Because then you lose one factor. You will lose one factor. See, inside, you know, this entire thing is one factor. Very good question. See, in this bracket, this full thing is one factor. This full thing is one factor. So if there is some simplification, you can do this. But here it is, you know, 4 is one factor, 2x minus 3y is another factor. Don't multiply them. So it's like this, uh, like, uh, you know, uh, if 18 is not if 18, 18 is uh, uh, 2, 3, 6, 6, 3, 18. So we won't, we won't write it as uh, 2 into 3, 6 into, 6 into 3. Correct, because we want to, we want only prime factor. So you will not multiply 2 into 3, 6. Similarly here, you want all the factors. If you multiply, see what I'm saying is, don't multiply two factors. Inside a factor, if there is something to simplify, you should do that. But don't multiply two factors. Don't combine two factors. Here, 4 is a factor. 2x minus 3y is another factor. Don't multiply them. Now your question is then why did you open the, why did you multiply here in this? This is one factor. This full thing is one. Can you see the square bracket from here to here. This is one factor. Inside that, if you have to do some simplification, you have to do it. Yes, ma'am, understood. Okay. Yes, children, please write down. 
Now in the videos which I shared, you know, uh, I have explained how to factorize by splitting the middle term. Remember children, you can use your notebook. I have, uh, you know, uh, explained how to factorize an expression by splitting the middle term. Very important. I'm now going to uh, check how much you have understood from the videos. I'm going to give you say about um, uh, 10 sums because they hardly take each one hardly takes two or three minutes. OK, I'll give you say six sums, not 10, six. So let me check how much uh, you have understood from the videos. I want you all to do well, children. Finish this one. That is the next type you're going to do. Finish. Very good. Can I clear the slide, children? Yes, ma'am. All of you? Yes, ma'am. OK, now all of you uh, uh, flip a few pages back and uh, tell me if you have worked those, uh, you know, questions where we have uh, factorized by splitting the middle term. Yes. YouTube videos I shared the other day, no? But the heading will just be factorize. The idea or the method is factorize by splitting the middle term. Yeah, I think some two sums I've explained. That's all. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Yeah, correct. Two sums, correct. So that method. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. Use the same method. I've explained the videos. Okay. Yeah. You can start working. Don't wait for all the questions. Start working. Yes, children. All of you found that. Uh, all of you found that, uh, you know, uh, the type in your notebook. All of you. Yes, ma'am. Pavishya said yes. What about Nandana and Swati? Yes, ma'am. I think so. I found it. No, no, please be sure. No, please be sure. Nandana. Yeah, ma'am, I found it. It's example one and two, ma'am. Okay, read the question, Swati. What do you have in your yes. book? Read that. Uh, read that expression. Ma'am, x square plus eight x plus fifteen, ma'am. Ah, equals correct. x 
X square plus 5X plus 3X plus 15, ma'am. Yeah, that one only, that type, yeah. Have you written in the margin uh, uh, 1 into 15, 3 into 5, 1 into 15, 3 into 5 and all that? No, oh, that's very important. Nandana, did you find that sum? Okay, then let me explain one sum for you because I'm scared. One second, just a second, children. Yeah. I'll just explain the first one for you. What is it? Y square minus 21Y plus 90. Okay, Y square. Oh my God. Minus 21Y plus 90. So children, the first and foremost step. So now this is an expression. Now this one is a quadratic, quadratic expression or a quadratic polynomial. It's a quadratic polynomial because the power of y is 2. The highest power of the variable, the variable is y and the highest power is 2. So it's quadratic. It's a quadratic polynomial. Now we are going to factorize this quadratic polynomial by splitting its middle term. Step one is to arrange the terms. You will have three terms. You will have three terms. You have to arrange the terms in the descending order of their powers. That means y square first, then y, and then the constant. If the variable is x, x square, x, and then the constant. If the variable is p, p square, p, and then the constant. That is the first step. You must arrange the terms in the correct order, in the descending order of their powers. Powers meaning powers of the variables involved. All right, so that is the first step. Now here the variable is y. So first y square and then y and then the constant. That's the first step. Next step, the coefficient of y the coefficient of the middle, the, this is the middle term. Minus 21, y is the middle term. Okay, minus 21, y is the middle term. What is the numerical coefficient there? Minus 21, that is the sum. The sum, you can write it here itself. Sum is equal to minus 21. And the product, the product is the product of the coefficient of y square and the constant. That is, there is one here. No, if there is nothing, there is one. 1 into plus 90, 1 into 90, plus 90 is 90, which is 90. That is the product. I repeat, arrange the terms in the descending order of the power of the variable. Here y is the variable, so first y square, then y, then the constant. That's the first step. Then you'll have to write out two things, sum and the product. The sum is the numerical coefficient of the middle term. The middle term is minus 21y and the numerical coefficient there is minus 21. That is a sum. The product is the product of the coefficient of y square and the constant. So 1 into plus 90. 1 into 90, which is 90. You can, you can write 90 straight away also. I've just written how it comes. 1 into 90, 90. Is this part understood, children? Yes, ma'am. Okay, this is the first step. Now what you have to do is, you will have to take up the product. Okay, ignore the sign. The product may have a minus sign also. Ignore the sign. Just take the, you know, absolute value. Ignore the sign. Just take the positive value. The number, the product is 90. Take up 90. Take up 90. Now, how, uh, write 90 as a product in all the ways possible. Write 90 as a product of two numbers in all the possible ways. Write 90 as a product of two numbers in every possible way. So let us start with one. One into 90 is 90, then two. So you can take all numbers, not only prime, all numbers. Then two into 45 is 90. 3 into 30 is 90. 4, 90 is not divisible by 4. 5, 
5 into 18 is 19. 6 into, is it divisible by 6? 15, 6 are 90. Am I right? Yes, ma'am, it's divisible. 15, 6 are 90. Okay. Then 7, not divisible. 8, 90 is not divisible by 8. 9, yes. 9, 10 is 90. Then 10. See, I'm going in the order. 1, 2, 3, 4, it's not divisible by 4. Then 5, 6, 7, 8, it's not divisible. Then 9, then 10. 10, 9 is 90. Now, what do you see? 9 into 10, 10 into 9. Stop. Don't, you don't have to proceed. You don't have to go more the, beyond this. When you get, when you get, uh, you know, the products like this, that is you get something and that is repeated. It comes in the same, the same numbers, but in the reverse order. 9 into 10, 10 into 9. Stop there. See, not always will it come one after the other like this. Sometimes, see, supposing the number is say 12. Uh, not 12, 12 also it will come immediately. Um, <clears throat> let's try 40. I, I don't know. Uh, let's try 40. What 40? You'll get. Yeah, let's just try 40. OK, let's just do for 40. 1 into 40, 2 into 20, 3, no, 4, 10, uh, uh, 5, 8. Uh, um, no, this also 8, 5, that comes immediately. OK, children, what I'm trying to say is, what I'm trying to say is, let me not uh, take your time. It, not that the 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 you know the uh, the rep repetition will happen immediately like this. Sometimes you you will get a product here, and the same product will be repeated after a few steps. Now here in this case, nine tens are ninety, ten nines are ninety. Immediately you're getting, immediately immediately you're getting. But don't think that you will get it like this immediately. Sometimes you may get a product here and that will be re repeated in the reverse order after a few steps, maybe here. So then you should stop. Then you should stop. Oh my God. Sorry. <clears throat> Just write it again. So when it repeats, just take it out. So I'm saying it may not repeat one after the other just like this. You might get uh, a product here and the same product may be repeated after a few steps. So when it's repeated, you write it and strike it out and stop there. When it's repeated, like uh, say 2 into 8 and again 8 into 2. So when it repeats like that in the reverse order, stop and strike it out. Write it, strike it out and stop there. Now what you have to do is, now what you have to do is take the different pairs of numbers. Are you listening children? Yeah, so now look at the different pairs of numbers. You have 1 and 90. This is 1 and 90. You can fix the signs later. You can fix the signs later. See, like you can take plus 1, minus 1. You can take plus 90, minus 90. Signs will fix later. Now this is 2 and 4. This one you don't have to write. I'm just showing you. Write all this product. This bracket stuff you don't have to write. I'm just explaining. Now here the numbers are 3 and 30. It can be... Plus, plus 3, minus 3, it can be plus 30, minus 30. Signs you can fix. Here the numbers are 5 and 18. And here 6 and 15. Here 9 and 10. Okay, these are the different pairs of numbers we got. Now, all this will give you the product 90. Now, the important thing is the two numbers should satisfy the sum and the product. Now, these pairs of numbers satisfy the product. You will get the product 1 into 90, 90. 2 into 45, 90. 3 into 30, 90. All these pairs of numbers satisfy the product, but you should find that pair of numbers which satisfies both the sum and the product. Now, that can be satisfied by only one pair here, not by all the pairs. All these pairs satisfy the product, but you should identify that pair of numbers which satisfy both the sum and the product. Now, how do you find that? Now the sum is 21. Forget the sign for now. 
21. Now, 1 and 90. Take up the first pair, 1 and 90. Whether you add 1 and 90 or subtract, when you add, you'll get 91. When you subtract, you'll get 89. You can no way get 21. Yes or no, children? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma the sum 21. The sum Mama, in my school, they taught me a tree method, ma'am. Okay. Uh, in that, uh, 90 comes in the top and we divide into a column, ma'am. 90? And we write 90. 90 no, no, we no, just... no, 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 90. Ma'am, 90, we wrote 19, 90 in the top, ma'am. And uh -huh. we'll uh, uh, just divide the page into like a column. Tree, yeah, factor tree. Uh, factor tree, yeah. Yeah, ma'am. And no. we write the tables and that in that table, um, you know, you wrote this multiples, um, uh, multiplication table. You know. uh, Nandana, we'll do one thing. Can you just work it like that and share it with me later on WhatsApp? I can, I'll go through that and then uh, tell you. All right. Yeah. According to me, because see, uh, uh, from what I know, this is the easiest. See, maybe if uh, there, there's something else, I'll see that, I'll understand, and maybe I'll share it in the class, in the next class. You just send it to me. As far as I know, this is the easiest method. You can share your working with me, Nandana. Let me go through that, and I'll, uh, if, uh, you know, that is easier, I'll definitely share that also in the class. Yeah. So, children, now, now this can have this you will be doing it so quickly now i'm explaining so it's taking a long time now you don't have to write in the bracket 190 245 that you can see here itself so all this will happen like within 20 seconds you can find the two numbers now i'm talking so much about it so it looks like you know it's maybe uh, you know it's taking a long time but it's not actually so now these are the different pairs of numbers now choose that pair which satisfies both the sum and the product don't take the sign for now now when you take 1 and 90 1 and 90 1 plus 90 is 91 and uh, when you subtract you'll get 89 whether plus 89 minus the 89 that's okay but 89 you'll get so you don't get 21 so leave this leave this then take 2 and 45. What will 2 and 45 give you, some, uh, children? When you add, what will you get? 47, ma'am. When you subtract? 43, ma'am. So leave it. You're not getting the sum. 3 and 30? 33, ma'am. 33, 23 or 27. 27. Leave it. Leave it. 5 and 18? 23, ma'am. 23 or 13 mom. 13 mom. 13. Leave it. Leave it. Then uh, 60, 6 and 15? 21 mom. Product. 21, mom. Ah, product 90 we will get. Don't check the product. For product only we have written all these numbers. So product will be satisfied. Now some should be satisfied. So 16 or take 10 and uh, 9 and 10. What will you get with 9 and 10? 19 mom. 19, 19 one, or, or minus 1, ma'am. Don't, don't take the sign. 19 or 1, correct? Yes, ma'am. Just don't, don't uh, bother about the sign. 9 plus, 10 plus 9, 19 or 10 minus 9, 1. You're not getting 21. Leave it. So this is the only pair that satisfies both the sum and the product. Now, when you just look at it, you can make out. Now, you will not be doing it slowly. 1 and 90 will not give us this. When you look at the numbers, you will spot that this will only give 21. There is only one pair which can satisfy both the sum and the product. So you will just write this fast. And when look at 6 and 15, that's it. 6 and 15, you can take 6 and 15 because that gives you the sum also 21. That's all. Maybe when you write this only, you will make out. So you don't have to you don't have to do so much of work when you're writing this itself you can make out oh six and fifteen will give twenty one also so you can just take that all right so uh, when you work you know two three sums you will find newer ways of finishing it faster now you will have to write required numbers required numbers required numbers are six and fifteen okay see this is the required pair six and fifteen now fix the signs you should get minus twenty one. How will you get minus 21? You have to fix a minus sign to both. Then only you'll get minus 21. Yes or no? Yes, ma'am. 
you just think you just think OK, now 6 and 15. If that's difficult for you, no, do this one. Uh, what all can you take? You can take plus 16 and 15 or minus 16 and 15. Or you can take plus 6 and sorry, not 16, 6 and uh, minus 15. Minus 6 and minus 15. These are the possibilities. See, I'm writing plus 6 minus 6 with 15. Then plus 6 minus 6 with minus 15. You don't have to do so much work, but in case you are not able to fix the signs, you know what you should do. This is what you should do. Take uh, take the number uh, plus six minus six. Write it again plus six minus six with plus six minus six. Take a positive 15 and with the with the same thing, take a negative 15. These are the four different ways you can uh, take the numbers. OK, so now. Since you have to get the sum as minus 21, you have to fix minus sign to both. Then only you will get minus 21. And now multiply 15, 6 and 90 minus into minus plus. Plus 90 minus 20. Now you must get the, now when you find the numbers, you know that should satisfy the sum in the product exactly. Minus 21 and plus 90. Here now you should fix the signs correctly. After selecting the pair, you should fix the signs correctly. You must get minus 21 and uh, plus 90. So the required numbers are minus 6 and minus 15. You can take both positive, both negative, one positive, one negative also. I you the uh, yeah, I'll have a look here. Yeah. Uh, now my uh, son is using the phone for a different class. Uh, maybe after the class, I'll just check and get back to you uh, in the next class. All right. Yeah. So children, uh, 6 and 15 are the numbers and fix the sign. Minus, minus. Is this part understood? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yeah. And now what you should do? Uh, y minus 6 and y minus 15. Uh, uh, what? Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, the final answer. Okay, yeah. But you must show these steps. Okay, now next children, you'll have to split the middle term. That is why the heading, the method is called factorize by splitting the middle term. Factorize by splitting the middle term. So which is the middle term minus 21y? So we are going to write minus 21y as minus 6y minus 15y. So we are not changing the question. We are just splitting it. Minus 21y, you know, we are going to write it as minus 6y minus 15y. What is minus 6y minus 15y minus 21y? So what we're going to do is we'll write the first term as it is. We'll write the last term as it is. That middle term, you know, we'll split it as you can write anything first. You can write minus 15y first and then minus 6y. Any order you can write. Any order you can write. You can write minus 15y first and then minus 6y. Any order you can write. OK, so minus 6y minus 15y. We are splitting the middle term. Is this part understood, children? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma OK, now you should group. You must group the first two terms and the last two terms. Understood? Yes, ma'am. OK, now what is common between the first two terms? Y. Y. What should you write in the bracket? Y minus y. 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 Minus six, ma'am. Minus yes, six. Y. Minus six. Now write this minus C. Now y square minus 6y we have grouped. Now this, this minus sign, write it as it is. Whatever sign is there. If it's plus, bring it down as it is. If it's minus, bring it down as it is. Now what is common between 15y and 90? Y is not common. So between 15 and 90, 15 is common. Open a bracket. Minus 15 into what is minus 15y? Minus 15 into what is? Minus 15. Y, mom. Y. See, now multiply minus 15 into Y. Yes, minus 15 Y, correct? Yes, yes mom. Yeah, now my, you should get plus, the next term is plus 90. The last term is plus 90. Minus into minus is plus. 15, 6 are 90, correct? Yes, See, there's a plus sign here, but you should not put that plus sign because Minus into minus only will give you a plus. And see, you should multiply what? Minus 15 minus 6. Minus 15 minus 6. Plus 90. Plus 90. So minus into minus is plus. 
15, 6 and 90. Is that, is that understood, children? Yes, ma'am. Yes, so ma'am. Yeah, let me write that again. So write the sign as it is. This minus sign, bring it down as it is. Uh, between the third and the fourth term, 15 is common. Open a bracket. Minus 15 into y is minus 15y. Minus into minus is plus. 15, 6 are 90. Now you can see that uh, we have y minus 6 common. Now, now this is one part. This is the second part. So between the first part and the second part, y minus 6 is common. Write it out. And then in the bracket, you should write y minus 15. y minus 15. See the first part and the second part, y minus 6 is common. Write it out. Then y minus 6 into y, no, y minus 6 into y is the first part, y into y minus 6. Then y minus 6 into minus 15. y minus 6 into y minus 15 is the second part. y minus 6 into minus 15. See, a minus 15 is here, y minus 6. So in simple words, whatever is common, write it once. Whatever is common, write it once. I'm having one doubt now. Yeah, one minute. Yeah, something went off from here. Minus or oh. Yes, uh, Swati. Bavishya. Yes, Bavishya. After y, y, y minus six minus, we can uh, we should only bring fifteen, ma'am. Bhavishya, once again. Ma'am, after y, y minus six, uh, minus fifteen, you have put, ma'am. Hmm. Uh, um, um, except fifteen, you can bring uh, ninety also. That please. No, but what is common between 15 y and plus 90? 15 only, no? Yes, ma'am. You should write the HCF. Okay, ma'am. 15 and 90, the HCF is 15. Supposing, supposing it was uh, like, uh, say, uh, 6y and uh, 9, uh, 9 plus 9. 3 is the HCF. You should bring out only 3. You will have to bring out the HCF, not one of the two numbers. It's not that you should bring either 15 or 90 outside. The HCF of the third and the fourth term, 15 and uh, 90 is 15. Okay, mom. Sure? Yes, mom. Yeah, please write on the children. Ten, All right. Others? Done, children? Antana is not there. Is Swati and Bhavishya. Then Done, is Swati and Bhavishya? All right. Yes, yes ma'am. All right. Okay, what's the second one? x square minus 22x plus 117. x square minus 22x plus 117. Yes, quickly tell me, children. What's the sum? Minus 20. Yeah, product? Mom, plus one, 177, mom. 
170. Okay, now we'll have to take up 117. Now, 1 into quickly. 1 into? 117. 117. 2 into? No, ma'am. No, 3 into? No, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Pass, pass. 3 into? I'm 39. Yeah, 4 into? It won't come, ma'am. 5? No, ma'am. No, no. 6? No, ma'am. No, no. 7? No, ma'am. No, 8? Mama, 13 is good. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. 9? 9, 9. I'm um, 13, 13 into 9. 9, okay. 13, sir. 9. It is divisible by 9. 10? No. no. 11? No, ma'am. 12? No, ma'am. No, 13? 13 into 9, ma'am. No, yeah, now see, it's repeated. 9, 13, sir. 13, 9, sir. Stop there. You should, you should go on till it repeats like this. You must keep going till it repeats like this. You should not simply stop in the middle. 9, 13, sir, 13, 9, sir. Stop there. Now, don't go further. Now, quickly tell me from these three pairs, which one will you take? You should get 22 as a sum. 9 into 13. 9, 9 and 13. 13, that's it. 9 and minus 13. Minus 9 into uh, minus 13. Number. Correct. So, from this, you can easily make out. You have to get 22. So, you cannot take 1 and 117, 3 and 39. 9 and 13. Yes or no, children? Yes, yes ma'am. Yeah, so what are the required numbers? Since you should nine get minus 13. 22, minus, minus 19 nine. and minus 13. Minus 9 and minus 13 are the two numbers. Now, when you add, you will get minus 22. When you multiply minus into minus plus, 13 nines are 117. Now, we have to split the middle term. What is the middle term? Minus 22x. You should split it as minus 9x minus 13x. Minus 9x minus 13x is minus 22x. So you should write the first term as it is. Then you should write minus 9x minus 13x. Split the middle term. Write 117 as it is. Now group the first two terms and the last two terms. X is common. X minus 9. Write this minus sign as it is. Mom, then X between minus 9 and X minus 13. Yeah, yeah, correct. Now between the third and the fourth term, 13 is common into minus 13 into x is minus 13 x minus into minus is plus 13 nines are 117 now write that x minus 9 once and write that x minus 13 in the bracket x minus 1 x minus 9 once that common thing write it once then that outside which you have x minus 13 put it in a bracket one but i wrote as x minus 13 and x minus 9 itself That's correct, correct. yeah yeah both are correct and shall i tell the answer for third one also nandana and shall i tell the answer for third one ah uh, no 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 we haven't still come there ma please wait <clears throat> swati and bhavisha please take down this one um, how do we get x minus 9 of x minus 13? Yeah. So between. We'll have to take out common now. Oh, sorry. We have already taken common the last episode out, right? OK, so now again, uh, this is the first part. This is the second part. OK. Yes, ma'am. What is common between these two? X minus 9, ma'am. Take it out. Take it out now x minus 9 into what will give you x into x minus 9 the first part x mum x okay now the second part is minus 13 into x minus 9 x minus 9 is outside x minus 9 into what will give you minus 13 into x minus 9 minus 13 mum minus 13 so in simple words whatever is common that x minus 9 write it out once then that remaining thing x and minus 13 write it in another bracket x minus 13 in another bracket okay yes ma'am understand yes oh, very good very good yeah yes children please write down Ten mom. okay
done children so see the answer x minus 9 into x minus 13 so x minus 9 and x minus 13 are the two factors of the given expression the given the given uh, expression is a quadratic polynomial quadratic because the power of x is 2 the highest power is 2 quadratic polynomial and its two factors are x minus 9 and x minus 13 done children yes ma'am yes, ma right. now i'll show you all the questions yeah, start working. Finish everything, then we'll discuss the answers, children. Finish everything. I'll just come back, children.
What's the progress, children? Finish three and four. Mom, I'm having doubt in third somewhere. Third is okay. not completed. Then three and four completed. Three and four completed. Okay, no problem. Fine. Bhavishya, yes, Bhavishya. Y square plus seven y minus one forty four. Y square plus seven y minus one forty four. Yes, Bhavishya. Tell me what's the sum? Mom, when you um, mom, I got the like, uh, one into one forty four. Mom, sum is seven, mom. Ah. Uh. My uh, product minus forty four. Okay, so one into one forty four. Yeah, quickly tell me. Two into two fifty seven. Fifty seven. Two into fifty seven. Two into seventy two, right? Two into seventy two, ma'am. Yeah. Then three into forty eight, ma'am. Forty eight. Yeah. Four into thirty six, ma'am. Four threes are yeah. Four uh, threes are two yeah. Five no six into twenty four, ma'am. Yeah, seven no, no eight into eight. eighteen, ma'am. Eight into eighteen. Yes, ma'am. Eight ones are eight. Uh, six remains. Yeah, eight is a sixty four. Correct. Hmm. Eight into eighteen nine into sixteen, ma'am. Nine into sixteen, yeah, ten. No, ma'am. So here itself you get sixteen and nine, which will give you seven. Yes or no? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. So you see, you can stop here also. When you get the numbers, you can stop. When you, if you, if you feel, see, as you keep writing, one, one, forty-four. This will not work. This will not work. This will not work. This will not work because you'll have to get seven. This is not giving you seven. This is not giving you seven. This is giving you seven, right? Because sixteen minus nine is seven. Mom, minus nine plus. Six. Yeah, this is the sum. But you can continue. So what? Ten is not possible. Eleven also no. Twelve, twelve is a one forty-four. Thirteen no. Fourteen no. Fifteen no. Sixteen nines a. Sixteen nines a one forty-four. So stop there. Sixteen nines are one forty-four. You should stop the nine sixteen the sixteen nine there. So you stop here. So only this pair. So as you keep writing, you will come across a pair. If you get it, you can stop there also. There, this is just a rough work. It's not that you should go on till here. But once it repeats, you can stop. Beyond that, you don't have to go. So nine and sixteen, the required numbers are nine and sixteen. Nine and sixteen. And uh, the signs. Minus you should get seven. Minus nine plus sixteen. No. Minus nine plus sixteen because uh, the sum is positive. See, supposing you write yeah. nine and minus sixteen, the sum will be minus seven. The product will be minus one forty four, but the sum will be minus seven. We should fix the signs carefully to get the correct sum plus seven and the correct product minus one forty four. Now y square minus nine y plus sixteen y minus nine y plus sixteen y minus one forty four. So y is common. Y minus nine plus sixteen is common. <clears throat> y minus nine. So y minus nine once and y plus sixteen. Yes, Bhavisha. Tell me, where is the doubt here? Mom, I was multiplying two into fifty-seven. Then I was multiplying that. I have got uh, one hundred and fourteen, ma'am. Okay, 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 okay. Fine, fine. Now you understand? Yes, ma'am. Okay, okay, fine. Okay, children. I just want to explain one more thing to you. Take a screenshot. Finish all this. We'll see the answers in the next class. One oh, minute. Very good, very good. Yeah, yeah, very good. Yeah. Took screenshot, ma'am. Very good. Yeah. Now. Yeah, sure, sure. Yes. Some women that that four a third sum. Which or oh, this one, ah? Huh? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Done.
Yes, ma'am. Okay. Now look at this question. Factorize 28 minus 31x minus 5x square. Tell me, how do we do this? 28 minus 31x minus 5x. Yes. So first step is to arrange the terms in the descending order of the power of the variable x. So which one will come first? Five minus 5x five square, ma'am. Minus 5x square followed by? Minus 31x, ma'am. Followed by? Plus 28, ma'am. Plus Plus 28. So this is the first step. You'll have to rearrange the terms. Now, now what is the sum? What is the sum? Minus 31, ma'am. What's the product? 28, ma'am. I'm, no. I'm 5 into 28, ma'am. Minus 5 into 28. Minus 5 into plus 28. Yes or no? Minus 140, yes, What is it? Minus? 140. 140. This is the product. Minus 5 into 28. The sum is minus 31. The product is minus 5 into 28. Which is minus 140. Then, what are the two numbers? Find the two numbers. You do that uh, working in your book and tell me the two numbers. Please work and tell me the two numbers. I'm um, five and twenty-eight. I mean minus five and minus twenty-eight. No. How oh, minus five and minus twenty-eight? You will not get 31, you will get minus 33. And the product will be plus 140, not minus 140. Some you are not getting, you will get minus 33. And the product will be plus 140, it's minus 140. Minus 35 plus 4. Yeah, minus 35 plus 4. Minus 35 plus 4. So when you start writing the product factors of 140, the products, the pairs which will give you the product 140, 1 into 140. Now this pair will not work. 2 into 70. This also will not work. 3, not possible. Then 4 into 35. See, as soon as you write this, you can make out. 4 and 35 will give you 31. No. As soon as you write, you can make out. 1 and 140, you cannot get. 2 and 70, no. 3, is, three times 140 is not divisible by 3. Then 4 and 35. 35 and 4 will give you 31. That's it. That's the So these two are the required numbers. Required numbers is equal to 4 and 35. Now fix the signs. The product is negative. The sum is also negative. Minus 35 plus 4. So minus 35 plus 4 will give you minus 31 sum. And the product minus 35 into 4 is 35 into 4 is 140 and plus into minus is minus, minus 140. See, if you're confused with the signs, write 4. An answer is 4. Yeah, one second, one second. So as I told you, children, write 4 uh, with the positive sign and with the negative sign. Then write 35, 35. With uh, plus 4, take 35 and minus 35. With minus 4, take 35 and minus 35. 
you don't have to make it so complicated also you can it's very easy to fix the signs the sum should be negative the product is also negative yeah with practice you will be able to get it don't worry now these are the required so numbers x plus 4 x minus 35 yeah, I have to work more for that. Yes, one second. Uh, now, who can tell me Bhavishya, Swati, since Nandana has already learnt in school? I'll ask one of these two girls. Swati? Um, yes, ma'am. Yeah, tell me. Minus 5x square. I'm at write, the, write the first term and the last term as it is. So, what will come in the middle? Mom, it's plus 4 minus 35. Plus, plus 4, 4 x, x plus minus 35 x. x. Yeah. If the variable is y, you should put y. If the variable is p, you must write plus 4 p minus 35 p. Whatever is the variable there. Just a second, children. Yes, children. So now what's common between the first two terms? Mine 5 and 4? X, ma'am. Yeah, X is common. Okay. Then you can take a minus X because there's a minus here, no? You can take a minus X common. There's minus here. Take a minus X common. So it'll be 5X inside. Yes or no? X in minus X into 5X is minus 5X squared. Yes or no? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Now what? Minus into minus is plus. Minus into minus is plus. Four. Because it's x outside. So four into x, four x. Then bring this minus as it is. This minus as it is. Then between 35 and 28, 7 is common. HCF. HCF of 35 and 28 is 7. Open bracket. Minus 7 into 5x is minus 35x minus into minus is plus seven fours are 28. So the final answer 5x minus 4 into minus x minus 7. This is the final answer. 5x minus 4 write it once and in the other bracket minus x minus 7. Is it okay children? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, I just want to do one more like this. Please finish this first. We'll do one more and wind up the session for today. Okay. Yeah. So three plus twenty three Z minus eight Z square. Three. Three plus twenty three Z. Minus 8z squared. Yes. What's the first step? Quickly. Mom, uh, I'm writing from in descending, yeah. in descending order. Hmm. 8z squared. 8z squared. Minus 8z squared. Plus, eight z squared. Uh, plus, plus 23z Plus 3, mom. Plus Very 3. Good. Very good. What's the sum? 23, mum. 23, so mum. Product? Minus 24, mum. Minus 24, mum. Minus 24. 
Now start writing. One into twenty-four, ma'am. Twenty-four. Now, will this not give you twenty-three? Will it give you twenty-three or no? Ma'am, it will give. This is twenty-three, ma'am. Yeah, so that that's all. The required numbers. The required numbers are write one and twenty-four. Fix the signs carefully now. You must get plus twenty-three and minus twenty-four as a product. A minus one and twenty-four. That's it. See, you got it now. Minus one and plus twenty-four. Because minus one plus twenty-four, when you add, that is when you simplify. Oh, sorry, four. Plus twenty-four minus one is plus twenty-three, which is a sum. And when you multiply minus one and uh, twenty-four, when you multiply, you get minus twenty-four. Very good. So. Minus eight z square minus one z. What is one z? Simply z it is. Minus. You can write one z also, or simply z. Please write simply z. Don't write one z. Write z because that that means one z. Then plus twenty four z. Then plus three. Yes or no? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Then what is common between the first two terms? Ma'am, is it z? This minus is there. Write that minus as it is, and then z. So in the bracket, minus z into what is minus eight z square? Ma'am, eight z, ma'am. Eight z. Then minus into ma'am. That's all, ma'am. Plus minus into plus is minus. Okay. Then. Um, twenty-four is too common. No, no, wait. Plus what? Plus. Man, plus one. Plus one. one. Very good. Plus one. Very good, Swati. Plus one. Z is common. Z into one is Z. See what is this outside minus Z? Minus Z inside plus one. Plus one. Minus Z into plus one. Minus Z. Minus into plus is minus. Minus into plus is minus. Z into one is Z. Then write this plus sign as it is. What's common between twenty-four and three? Three ma'am. Three. Then in the bracket. Eight Z ma'am. Eight Z ma'am. Plus one ma'am. Plus one because. Ah, uh, three into eight z is twenty-four z, and three into one is three. So now, what's the final step? And we take eight z plus one as common. Eight z plus one as common, ma'am. Hmm. Then, ma'am, uh, minus eight z plus three. Can I write it as three minus z? Yes, ma'am. Yes, you can write. You can write. I'm not changing the sign. I'm just writing that positive three first, and then that minus z. You can write it like this, or you can also write eight uh, z plus one into minus z plus three. You can also write it like that, minus z plus three. But it's yes, preferred to write like this: three minus z. You can write it like this. Understood, children? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay. So I had to. I was supposed to post a assignment for Wednesday's class. I did not do it. Now I'll do it tomorrow. I'll send an assignment based on factorization and long division. And long division. We'll see the answers in the next class. All right. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. All right, right children. Take a screenshot, children. If you have not finished this, take a picture and complete it. Then, ma'am. All right. All right, children. So that's it for today's session. Thank you so much. Good night. Thank you, mom. Thank you. Good night. Thank you, mom. Thank you. Good night.